Welcome back, guys. Today I wanted to do something a little different, something very special to me, which are these Palladium books. I have a, a little collection of Palladium books that I've collected over the years, role-playing game books. Uh, it It's a very big part of my childhood, actually, especially Macross here. Macross 2, my God. we It's been a long time since I've played this, but these books... I have actually a couple sets of them, of the Macross books, a couple duplicates. I have my originals, and then I have these ones, which were bought you know years ago just because they were in nice condition. But we we played the crap out of this in middle school, uh, you know, early high school. It was just so much fun, and you know, it's a different time now. Everybody's into video games and stuff. I don't I don't know a single person in my life who plays these games anymore. But I've never wanted to get rid of these books. Like I said, they, they've meant a lot to me. I look at them quite often just to, to you know peep through them, look at the artwork. And as you see, here's some of my uh, old school original prints that I had of these from way back in the day that went through a lot of abuse. But like I said, I, I really do love looking through these books and looking at the artwork and reading the rules and the you know the, the different things about the uh, the items and ships and and just lots of cool stuff. I I really enjoyed these these books back in the day, and I still do. You know, Macross, you had those deck plans books. There were several of them that were just ship layouts, and then, you know, the source book. There wasn't very many books for Macross, but for Robotech, there was a ton. And these are pretty old as well. I actually have a few books that are older than these. These are from, like, the early 90s. Um, I think this, the printing's right here. What is that, 92? Or, yeah, these these are all from the early 90s. Robotech had a ton of, of books, ton of books. Palladium has gone through and, you know, they've lost a lot of the licensing they had with a lot of things. So, you know, they recently, you know, they, they've been sticking to a lot of their own properties. Uh, but all the books pretty much have similar rules. They all play the same for the most part, just different settings and different additional rules and items and character classes and stuff like that it, it's just really cool see this one's 91 i used to have a lot more robotech books but i actually got rid of quite a few of them years ago just because i i don't know i liked robotech but macross 2 for some reason like held a, a really special place in my heart and just really loved macross i'll never get rid of those macross books robotech it's cool too but always like macross and then the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think this series, since they do not have the licensing for Ninja Turtles, I believe is now called uh, After the Bomb or something like that. But you see, these are from the 80s, like 85 or 86, somewhere around there. And all the art for the Ninja Turtle stuff was, you know, done from, from Eastman and Laird. Like, you, you know, the actual artists, I'm not sure if I'm saying their names correctly, but, you know, the Ninja Turtle artists from the original comic books and whatnot. So... A lot of their work is done in these these books, and it's really cool. And here's another a supplemental book, Road Hogs. Pretty cool stuff. It's been a long time since I've looked through the Ninja Turtle ones, but hey, I, I really dug these back in the day as well. Really cool stuff. A lot of a lot of reading. You know what I'm saying? Like these games are pretty simple compared to something like you know I haven't looked at, at Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that in a while, but. A lot, a lot easier to play than those. You see, I do have doubles of the uh, the main book, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures. Just you know, back in the day, we used to you know use our imagination and play games. And you know, I I, I was into it. A lot of my friends were into it. We weren't into it to where it was like creepy or weird. Like you know, I've, I've kind of been put off by some circles that have you know played these types of games. Like it was just a handful of us guys like chilling and. You know, BSing and coming up with scenarios that are just ridiculous. That artwork in that front there, I always love that. This The Turtles books just had some amazing, amazing artwork. Really cool stuff. Really cool. Terror. Nice. But yeah, we, we used to, you know, at school we would play, you know, outside of school... It was it was a lot of fun just being into this stuff. And, you know, we weren't hardcore, but we had fun 
you know, friendships weren't lost or anything over these stupid games. It was just something fun to do. Dragons and Gods, a supplement to fantasy Palladium books, and this is all signed by Kevin Sim- Symbiata and uh, some of the staff. Pretty cool stuff. This, the fantasy books, I've never read. These are actually fairly new for me. I've only had them for a few years. Then here is the main Palladium fantasy role-playing game book. Have a little doodle in the front from the the author, Kevin Symbiata. Little little picture signature. Pretty awesome stuff. And then on another page, it is signed by him as well. You got a little warning there. They always warn you, you know, this is fantasy. Don't take it seriously. And here you go. Kevin and a bunch of the staff signatures. And this is a printer's proof. And like I said, this was just a few years ago that I actually got this book. I'm actually looking to get some more Palladium books. They do a sale every uh, holiday season around December. Like 45 bucks, you get like over $90 worth of stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm actually going to peep it out and see what to do. Maybe try to add a few more books to my collection. But it's really the old school stuff, the Macross and Ninja Turtle stuff that really hits me. But I'm still interested in seeing and just reading through. Even though I don't play these games, I think it's it's pretty fun to have these and just look at the artwork and read the, the rules and stuff like that. Hey, I mean, like I said, this is something that was kind of special to me. Used to have a lot more of these books. Kind of dwindled down the collection, but certain ones I'll never get rid of. Even though I don't see myself ever being able to play this again because I don't know anybody who plays. It's been a long time. Trust me, a long time since I played any of these games. But just wanted to share this with you guys. Appreciate you stopping in, peeping this out. I know not too many people are going to watch this. Just wanted to share it. Smash that like button. Do all that great stuff. Catch you next time. Boom!